If we reference the Star Wars Encyclopedia, IG-88 from The Empire Strikes Back is the most infamous and feared of all assassin droids. He's a very cool looking droid and we have an IG-88 action figure here that was donated by Sebastian in Germany. Thank you. Because I needed a new IG-88. My old one from The Empire Strikes Back had his arms ripped off. In the great Star Wars vs. Transformers War of 1988. I'm not exactly sure what series this IG-88 is from, but as you can see, compared to the original 1981, it is a slightly different color. This one originally had arms. They were just ripped off and, I don't know, thrown somewhere by Shockwave. The new IG-88 also can spin around like this. The old IG-88 does not do that. But then again, he also had his arms ripped off. Check the hoses. And check the hoses. The detail is similar between the two, but there are subtle differences. Here is the new IG-88 next to the Gonk droid, because droids need friends. They can play together. And since the Gonk droid also has no arms, it's only fitting that he fight the IG-88 with no arms. One of the best things about Star Wars is that they made action figures of just about everybody. Even if you're not a major character, you got an action figure. And IG-88 is one of the more memorable ones because he's just so damned cool. And I like that he has claws for hands. Here's what IG-88 looks like when being picked up by Chewbacca and strangled. Although you can't strangle a droid, so Clearly Chewbacca is just wasting time. A giant thank you once again to Sebastian for donating this awesome action figure, which was in need because my old one is broken. But wait, IG-88, you're not truly broken because you could still kick enemies to death. Yay! It's IG-88! What does the IG stand for? Intergalactic Gangster, of course. You know that I could donate one of my arms to you so that we could each have one arm. Wow! That would be fantastic! But I'm not going to. Oh. IG-88 is a selfish droid.